What's good, everybody? It's your girl T. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, grab your snack. And as you can see by the title, we're going to do a little deep dive. As per usual, I make new videos every day on social topics regarding black women. Other things, story time. I do a little different types of content. Just try to provide. I feel like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. That was terrible. Don't mind me. Why black women should expand their options and date interracially. Of course, you know, I'm coming with receipts different point of views and perspectives so you can see things from a little different right, please release my sisters from the shackle of only dating black men i feel like it's time for us to explore our options it's way more of life to see way more experience as y'all can see by that video y'all can tell i'm not the only one who thinks that black women should expand our options i feel like since we are the least married out of all of the women of color, we should be able to expand our options. I feel like everyone, even if they say, oh, I'm happy being single, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Everyone wants love at least one point in their life. So why not get that? Are these black women for the love of God? Please be open-minded. I'm a black creator that only dates white guys. I've never dated a black guy. My name is Sierra and I help women embrace self-love to attract true love. I have been saying this with my full chest for a long time. We need to stop this narrative of we need to save black men. We need to preserve black love. No, if you want a date for marriage, you need a date for values. You need to be with a man that is a protector and a provider. Like this shit about you can only be with a black man. That was some idea created to keep you down and single. Let me tell you where that mentality will get you. My mom believes in that mentality. It got her in her first film relationship me which she had out of wedlock and that guy has still not pulled his life together since her second relationship which was an actual marriage also failed and you know my beautiful siblings came out of that but that guy still cannot protect and provide for himself or his family you need to date the man that can actually take care of you not just oh well he's black that's so stupid you need to get past the superficial surface of his skin color i don't care if he's purple polka dotted fucking lime green he needs to be able to actually provide security the lifestyle that you will need that your children will need love is not enough the color of his skin is not enough that's not gonna pay your bills so get out of this mindset of oh well we need to preserve black love no we need to preserve family units that are actually healthy where kids are loved they're safe they can grow up in healthy home environments pursue all the dreams and activities that they want because money is not an issue that's what you should be aspiring to do okay as someone that came from a broken home i don't give a shit what color my dad is what would have mattered is if he was actually able to protect and protect provide and care for the family. 80% of black women do not date outside their race. 80%. I was reading this book, Black Women Who Marry White Men. I'm going into a little screenshot of the book right here. And it opened my eyes to a lot of things. Yes, personally myself, I have dated interracially in the past. I was always open to it. I was never really against it. It's crazy because when I was younger in my teen years, a lot of people try to get me to be against it. Like, oh, you need to stick to your kind. Uh, uh, uh. But what has sticking to my kind got me? A bunch of failed relationships. Not much. Sad that I don't even really look at black men. And if I do date a black man, he's going to probably be old enough to be my dad. Because those are the only black men with a little bit of sense. If you know what I mean. Black men my age, forget about it. This book changed my perspective a lot on dating, not only dating, the value of the black woman. The black woman is so valuable. We basically, once you're with us, you glow different. It's just a whole different experience. And proof of this is the black wife effect. If you have TikTok, you've seen the black wife effect. Let me post some videos. The black wife effect is real. Okay, this is something that needs to be studied in universities. I don't believe in much. But I believe in the black wife effect, and soon you will too. This is me before I met my wife. I look like if Machine Gun Kelly was anemic. I look like Water Gun Kelly. Who parted my hair? Moses? And how do I look like a little boy and an old woman at the same time? Like, this should be an illegal build. Enter the black wife. Which I do every chance I get. You can't tell me that's not a miracle. You can't tell me that's not an improvement. What? Do you see this? Call me a leaky ceiling? Because I got the drip.
This one's just a thirst trap. I'll give you a sec. Dude, night and day. And I'm not just talking about our skin colors. The black wife effect? Give it the Pulitzer. Give it the Nobel Prize. Give it an Oscar. Give it a Tony. Make it an EGOT. Fucking black wife effect. You know they be copyright and swimming. And you see how they uplift their wives. You see how they give credit when it's due. And most women in interracial relationships are treated so much better. It's not them having to hold someone down. It's not them doing all the work. They actually work as a team and they actually are more calm, happy, stable. Like we all have the right to be treated correctly, loved correctly. We all want to have a happy family. We all want to be married. And I feel like it's obtainable. Just not being open. Black women are just so used to sticking to what they know. Okay, so I'm about to expose myself on this one, but it's fine. Half the guys here already fucking hate me. So I've never really not dated interracially. Like I've only ever been in interracial relationships. No, I don't hate black men. Yes, I have had situations with black men, but they just never really fell through. Don't know why. I would say as far as dating interracially in Arizona, it's really fucking easy. Arizona, especially like Phoenix, is very fucking diverse. So you do meet a lot of different type of people. And a lot of non-black guys actually are interested in black girls. It's just most of them are kind of like shy and don't know how to approach black girls. So there are going to be a lot of situations where you have to be the approacher, which is perfectly fine. However, you need to be aware of the fact that criticization and racism are a thing. Just because somebody's willing to fuck you does not mean they actually like you. With that being said, if you feel like you have to hide any part of your blackness to be with your partner, just don't fucking do it. But don't be scared to do it. It's fun. You get to like see other people's perspectives of lives and how other people's live and then their culture. So it's fun. The average age a woman gets married in America is 28 to 30. I'm ticking on closer to that time bomb. I don't have any more time to waste with y'all and actually date for real. Not to play around, not to mess with someone's emotions. I'm actually going to date for marriage because I want to be happy and I want to have a partner that I can grow with and do things with. And I feel like as a woman, I can have that. And I'm going to have that. Marriage age for men to get married is in their 30s 30 to 35. i feel like black women settle for what they feel like they can have they settle for who has the best sex not who has the best asset stop selling it. you deserve a partner a happy family not a sex toy you could buy so this is how i know my ex was simply not interested in dating black women other than the fact that i was the first black woman he had ever dated yes he is black. He was 25 at the time this happened. I was a couple of years younger. He, so he basically would not stop making comments about my hair. So when we first started dating, I had really small braids, but like wasn't even braided all the way down the strand. And I had like human hair coming out, you know? And he definitely preferred my hair that way because a month or two in, I got like medium sized box braids and his first reaction was your hair looks kind of weird. He tried to backpedal that a little bit. He tried to walk that back a little bit, but that, so that, that indeed did happen. And he would also make several comments along the lines of, it is so unfair that I've never seen your hair straight. Just say you don't like black women and go. Do men deserve anything at all? Genuinely asking. Also calling this man an ex is like extraordinarily generous. So you're welcome, sir. Another thing I realized is when we date outside of race, black men get so mad and they expect us to not say anything when they date outside their race. So our first black woman was very like, hey, vocal about it. But I noticed over the years, we just decided not to care. 
But even when we don't care, they purposely try to do stuff to us when they're with their non-black partner to make us care. And it was just funny to me how through this whole black wife effect happened, how mad they was. What up though, y'all? So I'm on my way to work and I keep on seeing this black white wife effect trend or whatnot. And I actually think it's kind of dope for the guys, for sure, that's actually getting the, um, the glow up or whatnot. The thing about it though is like, there was just so much outrage less than two weeks ago about how all of these black boys that was in the NFL draft were showing up with these white women. But when you look at the comments of the black wife effect or whatnot, is nothing but sheer support of these black women with these other ethnicities and these other cultures. And my question is just like, where is the outrage? Like, these black women are literally taking the black culture and giving it to these white men and building them up how I see a lot of black women say they won't do for black men. So I might be wrong and I might be doing a little bit much with it, but I'm just curious, how is there so much outrage when black men are doing this shit, but there's so much support when black women are doing it? I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm just trying to figure out. I see this is oh, do y'all guys get mad when we do it? I feel like you're throwing in our face. And now we're laying with the mask, so we are bad winches for all that. But when you was just parading two days ago, we was silent. Young Bull tried to make a retaliatory white girl effect video and went from this to this. It was never going to work in reverse, bro. It was never going to. It was never gonna work in reverse. She took all the lotion right off of him. Ugh. Ugh. And even when we were silent, we were still mad. It's always a double standard with them. Here's the thing about this video. It is 2024. I made this video back in 2021. And the fact that I still get any type of traction about this video is wild to me. Let alone the fact that I get any type of hate about this video is wild to me. Like, my biggest question, because in this video, I didn't disrespect anybody, didn't talk shit about anybody. I literally was just talking about my own personal dating experiences. And um, I had just moved to a new city. So, you know, like... I got a question about it and I just decided that I wanted to address it and I answered another question, you know, or I responded to another comment. Why is it okay for certain people to interracially date and certain people not to? Because under any video, no matter what platform I'm on, under any picture, in my DMs, I kid you not, for these last four years, babe, I have gotten somebody that has harassed me about me interracially dating. And in my mind, it's like, why give a fuck regardless of how the fuck or what the fuck somebody is you know like the things that people cannot control aka being their race should never matter should never matter ever and there's like even a search under this video that's like black men and white women and that does not bother me at all because you know what it's okay all of that shit is okay you know as long as you are happy as long as you're happy. So I hope you're happy. Are you happy, babe? Woman. So if you're dating interracially, expect to get looks, expect to get stares, expect to be talked about by black men because you know they can never take what they always dish out. I feel like a lot of black women that marry white men are for love. I feel like a lot of black men that marry white women is out of a comparison. Like I don't necessarily see a lot of black women that have married white men downplay black men in the process like it's just like i met him i love him i married him the end but then you see the reverse is like ah i have to marry white because he's black do this and they act like that and they do that and it's just like that's what makes it weird i hate seeing black women with white men more than i hate seeing black men with white women and it's the reverse for me that's the reverse for me also i don't think it's always about love and it's about a lot of self-esteem issues and self-hatred issues and Again, like I was saying, the pursuit of the American dream, these, mm -hmm. all these ideals that people grew up with. Specifically, black women will have to marry out of the reason. I just wanted to tell you why, mm -hmm. right? 
based on the numbers, I'm pretty sure you know it starts off kind of even and around 18, it, it starts to decline and around 30, it gets out of hand where we're at, say, 7 to 10, 6 mm -hmm. to 10. Mm -hmm. But when you factor in unemployable, unemployed, homosexuals, people who stay at home, we could argue it's probably 4 to 10. Mm -hmm. So with those type of numbers, plus incarcerate, plus incarceration. Mm -hmm. So with those type of numbers, don't you think it's reality for women eventually to look to other races for men, even if you don't condone it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it just seems like a realistic approach because there's just not enough men. And I, I want to go against the polygamy. I know you're going to mention polygamy, right? But the only reason with polygamy due to the income of a lot of black men, I don't know if there'll be enough black men making enough to take care of numerous women, unless you redefine polygamy where the women are taking care of the men. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we are way, but I want to wait. What you have Good question. So do black women, have to consider dating outside the race since there's not enough men available for them and the ones who are available want a woman outside of the race. I would still be against it. I would say that the black woman can go north to Canada and get her black man. She can go south to uh, Central America, more than enough black men down there, more than enough black men in uh, South America, more than enough black men in the Caribbean. I think she has to broaden her horizons, but I don't think she has to go outside of her race. And honestly speaking, I think it would be to her advantage to do so. And the reason I say that is because in America, we have had the economic emasculation of the black man where women have been put in charge of the leadership of the community. And it has been this way for at least 50 years. We have created a culture where it's OK for black men to not be masculine, to not be leaders. So if the black woman is looking for that traditional black masculinity, she will definitely find that in Africa where black men were subject to that white emasculation system. She will find him in South America. She will find him in the Caribbean because these are communities where black men are raised and taught how to live off the land. They can never take it, especially if you're deemed undesirable and you're a darker skin tone or let's say you're over a weight limit they have in their head and they see you happy in an interracial relationship, that cracks their ego because in their head, you can be with anybody. Oh, we don't want you. No one can have you. But they see you happy. For a perfect example, Gabe Reese and Debra, the actor from the Precious movie, black men dogged her out during that movie premiere. They talked about her. They made jokes. Now she's happy in the family and those long-standing commitment with the white man. They don't say anything about her accomplishments. They don't say anything about her achievements. They don't even talk about how she looks anymore. Only thing they mention is that the fact that she's happy with a white man and they have a family. Something she knew she was never going to get from the black man because all they do is talk shit. And that's why I'm making this video. We need to expand our options. We need to be more open. We can't settle. We don't have, you're not going to hold them down no more. This is not a thing. We deserve more. So we're going to get more. And I hope. This video reaches the demographic it needs to reach. And I hope these videos and examples I'm showing you makes a change, sparks a change. Because once we expand our dating options and start dating for marriage instead of just wasting time, hopefully the marriage rate for black women goes up. Hopefully the divorce rates for black women marriages goes down. And hopefully we get the happy ending we always dreamed of ever since we was a kid. It's very achievable. You just have to put yourself out there and expand your options. <laughs>